Now that we've booked an order, it's time to move to sales order fulfillment, which is the next step in NetSuite's order to cash process. So once approved, the sales order goes into a pending fulfillment status. If the order is physical inventory that needs to be shipped, we have the option to use a multi-step fulfillment process to pick, pack, then ship the order. This starts with a ready to pick notification that allows warehouse personnel to efficiently print pick tickets. And then as the order progresses through the steps, we're also able to print out packing slips uh, and a BOL before we mark it as shipped. If we do not use a multi-step fulfillment process, then we can proceed directly to mark the item shipped without going through the picking and packing stages in the system. Once the order has been shipped, automated email notification with shipping numbers and confirmation can be sent to the customer and our billing team will receive a notification that the order is now ready to be invoiced. So back in the system, I'm now logged in a warehouse manager role. My dashboard has shifted to reflect my new area of responsibility. My quick navigation uh, shortcuts are for fulfilling orders, receiving orders, um, picking, packing. I have the ability to print out uh, pack slips, pick tickets, different types of labels. And then I have some out of the box reports for things like inventory status. Um, we can see my ware warehouse operations portlet here, along with my key performance indicators that are gonna give me visibility into our um, warehouse operations. I also have reminders that are notifying me of cycle counts to approve, items to order, uh, orders to pack or ship, um, vendor returns to ship, anything that's going to be relevant to my daily activity, I'll see pulled there in, in NetSuite's exception-based reminder system. So I see that I have 124 orders to fulfill. If I open this up, um, it's going to show me a list of all the different, and we can see here, um, we have all our different orders that are pending fulfillment. And we can sort this by, um, depending on how we want the inventory to be committed, we can, we can sort that. And then we can also set our shipment status to picked or packed when we go to picked, packed or shipped when we go to um, create these fulfillment transactions if we do wanna use multi-step fulfillment. So here's that top sales order. This is for Smith Supplies, cool. Smith Supplies, the one that we just booked. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Um, and so we can see this sales order is pending fulfillment. We have a quantity that has been committed, but we haven't picked, packed, fulfilled, or invoiced this, this item yet. Now I can go in at this point and print out all my pick tickets for all my items that need to be picked. Um, again, we can see a list here of all the orders pending fulfillment. I'm gonna go ahead and um, we could mark all, I'm just going to print out the pick ticket for um, that sales order that we're gonna be fulfilling. And here we can see, We've got our ship to, we've got our um, item. And then we also have inventory detail. This is actually the bin number where the quantity of 11 are found or we're gonna be pulling that single from. So I can print out my pick tickets and then I have my list of orders that I need to go pick and fulfill. Now, once I, um, and I'll go ahead, I'm just gonna fulfill it directly from this transaction instead of doing it from my bulk fulfill page. So once I go and create this item fulfillment, we see that this is created for that sales order. So we're fulfilling sales order 1737. I can go picked all the way to shipped if I want to. Um, I'll go ahead and do that here. And then down on the line level, we can see our item. Uh, it's defaulted to the right location, the quantity I can override if I need to, and then inventory detail if we are capturing uh, data like serial numbers or lot numbers, um, we'd be able to see that in there. All my shipping information is going to pull through um, from the order or from the customer record, including our ship to address. And then I can also see information about, um, you know, the packages that are going to be included in this shipment. Now, when I save this item fulfillment, I can also um, print a label out at that point. I'm just going to go ahead and, and save this. And we are marking this order as now shipped. <clears throat> so we're skipping the uh, the picking and packing stage. And we're going to see that that sales order, the status, so now that our item fulfillment is shipped, if I open up the sales order, our status has now gone to pending billing. 
And so we're moving now to the next step in that fulfillment process. We have decremented one solar attic fan from our on-hand inventory. It's now been picked, packed, and fulfilled since we went through all three steps at once. Uh, and so now the next step is going to be to create that invoice and, and invoice Smith supplies for that, um, for that item.